Hello, good evening. Tonight, I just want to share His Word, so help me God. As a Christian, all of us want to experience the favor, the divine blessing, the abundant life, the prosperity of His will pour out from God upon our lives. But the question is, how do we get favor from the Lord? What are we going to do? First one is we need to be faithful, just like Noah. We know the story of Noah. From Genesis 6, 8, Noah found favor with God due to his faithfulness. Also from Proverbs 28, 20, but Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. And because of that, it's very simple. A faithful man will abound with so much blessing because God is faithful to his people. God is faithful to his children. So we should be faithful to God. But how to become faithful to God? There are so many ways. Number one is we need to seek Him first. Second is we need to be honest in tithes and offering and a lot more. Second one is we need to be righteous, be blameless. As we can also see an example of Noah, being righteous, being righteous and blameless is a key to finding favor. Just like in Proverbs 21, 21, whoever pursues righteousness and love finds life, prosperity, and honor. That is from the word of God, and it is true. Well, it is true that we all stumble in so many ways, especially today that we are living in a new normal. It's difficult. We are not used to this. It's not easy to move. It's so hard to get used to this kind of new normal. But because of God's grace, God's power, God is going to help us, to lead us into His righteousness. It's not about self-righteousness, but it's God's righteousness. So we have to understand how to become blameless. Well, in this kind of new normal, there are so many things. Well, it is true that it's so hard to adapt into this new normal. But why not take this opportunity to look in our hearts? Examine ourselves. This time, we need to go deeper with God. Examine our hearts to see what things in our hearts line up to God's will and what things do not line up. So we have to change our priorities in life. Third one is be submitted or be submissive. From James 4, 7, Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. We can do all things through Christ. Yes, we are so weak, but God can make, can make us strong. We just need God, the Holy Spirit, to speak to the Holy Spirit, to talk to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is within us. Because sometimes as human, if things don't go our way, we get frustrated. We get, we get so easily get mad. We have to understand that God has a plan in mind. God knows what's going to happen in the future. Just like this year 2020. This year 2020 is the season for repentance. We have to ask forgiveness from the Lord. And of course, we need to be humble. We need to have that humility. From Colossians 3.12 Therefore, as God's chosen people, we have to believe that we are God's chosen, chosen one. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Also from Ephesians 4, 2, be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing one another in love. If you could see what happened on the cross, that's the enough explanation for us to be humble. That humility. Because we cannot boast anything. Everything that we have, that is from the Lord. And God can take it away anytime. So, we are so much busy with so much other things. That is why this time, God wants to make to make a space in our lives it's time to reprioritize we have to set our eyes back on him we have to focus back on him 
you need to be honest just like from said um Ex exodus 2016 you shall not you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor yes it's true it's actually very frustrating for what is happening today because because this time we have a lot of time to to check our facebook to use a lot of platforms to be connected with our friends with our neighbors but the problem is that we are fighting with one another gossiping is not coming from the lord so we really have to be very careful so how to become honest it's very simple we have to allow god's presence to lead us we need the blood of jesus to become honest to become truthful to everyone and we have to enjoy enjoy a life with god the last one is we have to get wisdom wisdom is supreme so we have to get it we have to ask the lord we always we always need to pray and ask wisdom knowledge and understanding so that we could do all things so it so that we could get favor from the lord so that we could experience his faithfulness it's very simple again we need to be faithful we need to be righteous we need to be submissive to his will we need to be humble we need to be honest and we need to get wisdom so that we could live in a very fruitful christian life and then such blessings we will experience that right away we only need to believe that God can give us everything.